everyone, and welcome back to Business Without Borders. My name is Angie Snowball Thompson from Living in America. I wanted to bring on today one of many coaches that I love to talk to and work with and talk about some of the myths of how to become a business coach. So Mark, first of all, thank you um, for being here today. Welcome. And I would love to start with just having you give a brief introduction of yourself and what you do. Hey, thanks very much, Angie. Really good to be with you here with you today as well. Yeah, in terms of background, you mentioned a story about some of those folks that were in corporate through the pandemic. They realized, you know what, I don't want to work in the corporate world anymore. Uh, I probably came to that realization several years before COVID. I had been a corporate executive for about 25 or so years. And actually, during that time, worked for a really large brand and a franchise system and realized some of the power of it. But I didn't want to be going to an office every day. And I want to be doing something that I loved and had more control over. So these days, I work as a business and executive coach with Focal Point and work with clients actually all across the globe. So they don't necessarily have to just be in my neighborhood and absolutely love leveraging my corporate and executive background and business experience to, you know what, help and support existing executives and up and comers to overcome obstacles so they can be more successful for themselves and their businesses. So that's what I do these days, Angie. How do I do it? And of course, you got two routes, right? You can go on your own. It's something you can create yourself, or you can buy into a franchise. And there are several out there that you can do. I think one big question is, why would I buy into a franchise? Can't I just do this on my own? So how do you answer that one? <laughs> it's a really good question, Angie. And actually, it's something that everybody should consider whenever they're going into business. Consider, hey, is this something I do on my own? Or is this really something that I should you know, leverage a proven system on? As I mentioned, you know what, I did work for a really large franchise brand. And one of the things that I realized is that when you're part of a brand that's been around for you know what, decades, they already have some of the brand recognition. They already have the systems. They already have you know what, hundreds, if not more, franchisees who've been using their system with great success. So anybody can start something on their own, but do you really want to do all that heavy lifting? It's going to take a lot longer. And in fact, it's interesting, there's a coach on our team and he's been with us a few years, but he was actually a business coach since the 1990s. I happened to meet him a few years ago and introduced him to Focal Point. He went through our certification program. Now he's a Focal Point coach. And when I was chatting with him recently, he's like, Mark, if I had this system and the support and the structure when I started my business 20 years ago, what took me seven or eight years to build, I probably could have done in 12 to 18 months, which is really the advantage. You're leveraging, you know what, the intellectual knowledge, uh, the programs, the horsepower, and the team around you to get a much stronger and faster start. And you're not out there hanging on your own. You have hundreds of colleagues around you that are helpful and supportive as well. So that's one of the reasons that I joined and what I share with folks when they're thinking about whether they go this route or another one as well, Angie. One keyword you said too, the training. When you start something on your own, no one trains you. you you're out there. Go figure it out. You, know, you might have a business coach to guide you, but you don't get trained on how to create your brand, create your business. It's just not something you do. So I think that is an incredible value add to what Focal Point does. And there are yeah. lots of other things too. No, you're absolutely right in terms of the training. Uh, it's interesting. We've had some folks who were corporate trainers in their prior life. And they've gone through our focal point certification and training program. And they said, this is better than they had ever participated in. And they were with Fortune 500 companies. So focal point has done an amazing job. And then once you get out of the training, you're not left on your own. You actually have, you know what, a support system and colleagues all around you. Why spend all that extra time trying to create something when it's already been there and done that for you? You can literally get your business up and running in about six or eight weeks versus potentially six or eight years like that other gentleman. Yeah, that, that's an incredible, incredible value. So anyone out there that is reconsidering uh, the way that they're working, the, their career path that they have, or people that are ready to take the next step, I think that's a great person too that wants to be a focal point coach is someone like yourself that spent lots of years in an executive position or a corporate position and now like, what's next? I mean, all those things are great reasons to look into the business coaching and especially focal point. And I know there are some other myths um, about becoming a business coach. So I'm not going to take all of Mark's time today, but I'm going to invite some of my other favorite focal point coaches to come on the show and talk about some of the other myths that we have so we can all understand what it would be like to become a business coach because 
we know everyone needs one. So there's always a need for more business coaches out there in the world. Thank you, Mark, for being here with me today. I appreciate your time and I look forward to working with you again in the future. Hey, fantastic, Angie. Great being here with you as well. And uh, good luck as you move forward with Business Without Borders. Thanks. Thank you.